Titus, and I'm the owner of the Harrison House Suites, Tucker House Inn, and Coho Restaurant in Friday Harbor, San Juan Island. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a mango and crab meat salad. So we have some basic ingredients that we're going to be using today. Obviously, some mango, and I've halved a mango, and I've just fanned it on the plate. I have an aioli that I made. You can use a mayonnaise as well. When I work with crab, I like to keep things very delicate in the flavors because we don't want something too overpowering to cover up the crab. I have some crab, speaking of crab. This is some Dungeness crab since I'm in the Pacific Northwest. I spent 20 years in Maryland, so I always had blue crab in my kitchen. I've picked it to make sure there's no extra cartilage or some shells. I have some herbs that we're going to be using both for the vinaigrette, for the arugula. I have some thyme, some tarragon, a little basil, and then I have for garnish some red pepper. So let's get started here. So I'm going to take my crab and I'm going to put a little bit of aioli. Again, we just wanted to moisten the crab. We don't want to overpower the crab. Add a little bit of tarragon. It's going to give it some freshness. So I'm going to just take the crab and lightly toss it with the aioli and the fresh tarragon, and that'll give it some nice freshness. And then I'm going to come to my arugula. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we grow uh, greens really well. So this is from a local farm, and it's going to give the salad a little bit of texture and some spice to it. So the, we're going to dress that with a lemon vinaigrette. So here I have some lemon juice that I've freshly squeezed. And to that, I'm going to add some shallots. And I'm going to add some herbs. The herbs, you know, are really based on whatever you have in your pantry or your garden. Uh, I have a little bit of uh, thyme here that I freshly chopped, so I'm going to add that as well. Just a little bit will do a little way. A little basil. It's one of my favorite herbs, so I want to make sure I add a little basil to that. And uh, a little bit of tarragon, just so we tie the flavors from my crab meat salad into our vinaigrette. And you see, I'm not making a lot of vinaigrette. I'm a real fan of not overdressing my greens. Just put them in my vinaigrette here. And so we're just going to lightly toss them just to coat them. A little salt and some pepper. And uh, just going to take some of those greens and lightly place them right there. And I have a little scoop. And I'm going to take our crab, pack it in the scoop here. And just plate that right here on top. Here we go. And we're going to garnish it with a little bit of red pepper. And a little sprig of tarragon. So I'm showing you a very traditional plating of kind of a, of a salad that you would use for a first course. But I also have, I want to show you how you can use this salad. It's really quite versatile for possibly an appetizer course or an amuse. Here at the restaurant we always do a little chef's treat that we bring out. So I have an English cucumber that I've cored out the seeds and I'm going to set that down here on a plate. And I have just a little bit of crab salad left. And I'm going to put that right here on the cucumber. And then I'm going to add a couple of julienne mangoes. We're still being true to our crab mango salad. And then I'm going to garnish it with a little sprig of tarragon. And a little red pepper just for color. So this is really a very simple, you know, one bite appetizer. It also works well if you're doing a buffet. We use this a lot for caterings for weddings, and you can imagine how beautiful that would look on a plate with multiple cucumber appetizers. So I hope you enjoy your mango and crab salad. Mm -hmm.